wasting some time here with the tier 7 mayhem kind of a little something something different today with the with the mayhem uh, this is just a probably a shorter clip of uh, what happens when I ran into or what happened when I ran into two turpits in my mayhem and uh, let the comedy ensue and just the outright just outlandishness of what's going on that a destroyer can do that to a turpit anyways hope you enjoy come back and see me all right, wasting some time here with the tier seven mayhem. Let me sit on the intro, and we're gonna start out a little bit into the battle here. Some fire to a few people on the way over to the one two three line on uh, fault line. Standard battle. There's one of our buddies, the Turpits, shooting up this Atlanta long range not really worried about return fire because that would just be silly anyways and you see this fuso you know we don't like when people do we don't like people who scrub on the map border they're not your friends tell this fuso that uh, we don't appreciate his antics he should uh, attempt to get good as we run into our friendly turpets I like to tell people high five when I run into them. I was a bit busy to do that right now. This guy gets wrecked by a lot of fire. With some torpedoes. He's having a bad day now. That's what you get when you scrub. These silly border scrubbers. I'll do it sometimes in a like an emergency situation, but uh, in your early in the map, I mean, he's trying to use this as an advantage, like against a force that's smaller. There's it's kind of silly. And just aim a little bit lower than the the hole, and you'll start landing some shots. It's 12 second travel time on there. Get some hits. If you notice, so I'm 13k away from this guy, and I'm not even detected. That's what the advanced firing training on the American destroyers is really this year. Assuming the German, not German, the Russian destroyers will be the same. You'll be able to uh, fire from concealment, which is just completely just silly that you can do that. And the Russians are going to have better shell velocity, so it'll be even, even just dumber. Anywho. My uh, teammate, I was division with Seth, he uh, got stuck on the uh, island there and got destroyed. It does happen sometimes. And our first friendly uh, turpits. Neighborhood, neighborhood, uh, everyday neighborhood uh, turpits coming in to get destroyed. The old spoiler, I, I don't actually kill this turpits, but I mean, we are outnumbered. <clears throat> and we are losing. Things aren't looking good. Doing some long range fire at this guy. No, so I'm still not detected. So uh, I think it's for 11.2 that I'll get detected. It's really stupid that you can do this. Just landing shots on this guy all day long. And they actually start shooting at me. And that's uh, such a small target to hit. I may hand at that kind of range. And since we have the uh, our friendly battleship, so I'm trying to move away from our battleship. This guy has to aim to either one of us. And just land in the fires of this guy and he's shooting at me. Just kind of nick me there a little bit. I uh, like seeing turpitas in my American destroyers. We land a lot of damage on these guys. <laughs> I like to get that hit counter uh, nice and nice and high. 
And this gentleman is actually, he's decided he doesn't like this and he's just starting to run away. Frosty, don't go. Come back, Frosty. Put some more shells out at me. I have to get my range again on this guy. Since he's running away, we have the other turpentines coming in. Our battleship has successfully run away. So now we're all alone here. Made a turpent run away <laughs> in a mayhem. <laughs> they would have been a lot better off if they had cruiser support. Kind of almost un unfair. If I could hit the guy though, that'd be even better. There we go. I like it when I land all four rounds. That makes me happy. It doesn't happen very often though. It's just a few whiffs. Seems to get kind of far away. It's kind of harder to hit, and this guy's coming straight in. Stop clubbing baby seals. <laughs> <laughs> well, he came to the wrong place. Pop my smoke. And I'm waiting for this guy to get spotted again by our aircraft carrier. He is sending uh, his bombers in. And there he is. 9.6. Closing. Edge up just a little bit. He is shooting at our carrier. And now, at this point, our carrier is the one that's spotting, I'm pretty sure. We just get to bludgeon this guy about the face with our, our wee little guns. And he was full health when he came around here over here. The wrong neighborhood, sir. Shall be destroyed. He's just uh, staring me down into my smoke cloud. I don't know where they were supposed to go. Shots of frustration, maybe. I wonder if he's actually trying to shoot our CV. Just those shots don't seem like they're going anywhere. Uh, impressive. First fire on the gentleman. No, so I'm just sitting in my smoke cloud. The computers don't have the range to get me, so I feel perfectly safe. Frustrations and the angers. Now he's just trying to uh, pile straight into into my smoke, and he I won't be spotted from him with and firing until about three or four k. He is trying to maneuver for some uh, torpedo bombers from our carrier. He's on fire again. I only wants one uh, torpedo for Adam. He actually completely dodges those torpedoes. But since I caught him in the turn that the carrier made him take, I'm not detected. I moved out and started moving out of my smoke screen. Trying to angle away. I'm trying to hit his back in there and get that part set on fire. Right in front of the, uh, yeah, get a nice torpedo hit on him. Get a wither on this guy. Just doing bad things to this gentleman. Briefly considered turning back around, trying to get my uh, other torpedo launchers in the game, but uh, decided not to. Get uh, a little more room from him. Turn back over over here. Just need to get one more fire on him. Go ahead and slide two turnover and shoot my last uh, torpedoes there.
I had thought at first that he saw me launch those, just from the slow pause in my fire. I try not to let there be a pause when I'm shooting at a, you know, shooting at a ship from a destroyer. So they don't know I just launched torpedoes, because it's kind of get a dead giveaway when you huge gap. Managed to just nick him with that uh, last torpedo. It's actually, it's not a very good game. We actually ended up uh, losing this game. I'm going to go ahead and go to the end here. And have the load screen up. Let me click that open. It's not like we're not overly endowed with competence. I never claimed that. Anyways, it was a pretty good game. Did end in a draw. And I was the uh, last one alive, I believe. I don't think our carrier made it. No, our, our ranger did make it. Did a nice amount of damage. 1450 base XP. Got a witherer. 58,000 HE. 63,000 with fires. And 12,000 with flooding. Our torpedoes got to 8,900. Anyways, it's a pretty good game. I enjoyed it. Hope you uh, enjoyed to see what you can do in a, with the turpets, uh, or against the turpets in a mayhem. Mayhems are just uh, mean little little ships that can mess your day up. Hope you enjoyed. Come back and see me.